friends, food is the subject at hand this evening. Now, I myself have come to terms with cottage cheese, as spinach and I signed it through some years ago, but friends, there's still one food I cannot abide. It is disruptive to the physical system. It is detrimental to the human psyche. In French, they call it foie, and in German, understand, they call it labor, but friends, no matter what you call it, it still comes out liver. And I got one thing to say about it, and that is this. I hate liver, liver makes me quiver, liver makes me go right up and die. It gives you highs, gives you scurvy, it turns my stomach topsy-turvy, liver simply just is not my bag. Makes me gag. Makes me gag too, Bob, makes me throw up. Now, friends, <laughs> did you, let's just take a look at the word for a second, all right? Did you ever realize there are five letters in the word liver? Count them up, that's right, five. <laughs> is it any coincidence that's the same number of letters in the word death? <laughs> the same number of letters in the word hippie, the word drugs, the word Korea. Friends, if you add one more, the word Russia. <laughs> I just let that sink in for a second. Just think about it for a little while, all right? <laughs> is it any wonder that the word is used as a negative epithet of denigrating appellation, denoting that the individual exhibits attributes which are demeaning, dehumanizing, and otherwise atheistic? Like what? Well, there's lily liver. Liver lipped and yellow livered. How'd you like to be called Lily Liver Liver Lipped Yellow Liver Lover? Well, don't ever call me that, friends. I hate liver. Liver makes me quiver. Liver makes me curl right up and die. Makes me cry. Liver liver liver. 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 Yeah, but it's so high in protein. High in protein, my friend, did you know that Dr. Amory of the Cleveland Medical Group tells us liver is the one organ in the corpus of the bovine species that maintains, retains, and otherwise holds back all the MDA, the STP, the DDT, and that's right, friends, the LSD that falls on the ground, but that's a fact. Wow. Scientific data, yes, sir, just as true as can be. Matter of fact, a friend of mine hallucinated so badly on a teeny little hunt of liver, he ended up seeing Alan Ladd shoot giant string beans on TV. Is <laughs> he still alive? Yeah, but he's very unhappy. Boy, I tell you, that would not happen to me. Well, how's that? First time I tried it, I didn't like it at all. Well, what happened? Well, I was about nine months. My mammy gave me a hunk of that Gerber's baby food. I uttered my first words. Nine months, what'd you say? I said, I hate liver. Liver makes me quiver. Liver makes me go right up and die. Makes me cry. <laughs> well, maybe you just haven't had it cooked right. Shh, come on now. I seen that stuff sauteed. I seen it bred and broiled and roasted and braised. I seen it poached and pureed. I see the devil and dice and slice and rice and sunny side up over easy fried. And it still comes out liver. Right, friends, you can't hide it. Did you ever wonder why they call it liver a worst? <laughs> well, now, friends, we haven't convinced you by now. Let me describe it for you just one time so you know exactly what we're talking about. Friends, liver is neither solid nor liquid, but merely an amorphous, viscous colloid of putrid protein. <laughs> it's located between the sixth and tenth rib and the dorsal side, the transpolar, and playing right between the heart and the intestines, just south of the diaphragm, lounging like a whore on a pillow of fat. <laughs> so if anybody here tries to tempt you with it, friends, just sticking your mouth and make you chew it up, you look around their eyeballs as loud as you can, you say, I hate liver, liver, liver makes me quiver, liver makes me curl right up and die, makes me cry. Liver, 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 li